The next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is to make your cover special. So what you'll need is um, some special paper. This is um, a paper towel that I dyed. Um, so you could use something like that. You could use your own artwork. If you have scrapbook paper, that will work. Um, I'm gonna make two of these. Um, one for each cover, the front and the back. So this is my first one. You can see I left some paper around the edge of the cardboard, kind of like we did when we were making the cover with the accordion book. Um, so you're just gonna cut that so that it kind of fits around your cardboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and do mine. I'll place that piece of cardboard lined up neatly with the edge. And I'm not gonna worry so much about measuring this time um, because we're gonna be folding this around the cardboard, this special paper. I'm just gonna eyeball that and just kind of cut that by looking at it. Okay, go ahead and use your scissors really carefully, especially on the special paper. Okay, so what I have now are two pieces of cardboard um, and two pieces of special paper. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the glue. Now you might want to use a glue stick, especially if you're using some something like scrapbook paper. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try the liquid glue because I'm using a paper towel and I don't think my glue stick's going to stick that well. Um, so what I'm going to do is use a little liquid glue, not very much. Um, and then I'm going to flip that over and glue that on to my special paper. And I like to really smooth anything that I do with liquid glue or even a glue stick to make sure that it sticks and it's nice and flat and smooth. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Um, this project takes quite a bit of work. So you have the whole week to do it. You could make the accordion books in um, one session and then make your covers in one session. You could then attach it all together in another session and um, then you could work on making a story in your book or you could turn it into a little scrapbook. I'm not quite done with this because what I want to do next is I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and I'm going to carefully cut off each corner and I'll do this with both of my covers. I'll just show you one and then do the other one. Kind of what that looks like kind of looks like um, like a hexagon shape when I'm done with that. And then to finish these, I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little line of glue. Again, I'm gonna use the liquid glue since this paper towel is a little absorbent and I don't think it will work that well with the glue stick. And I'm gonna fold that over, give it a nice press. And I'll go ahead and do all four sides. And after I do this, I think I will um, place this under something heavy like a book to make sure that it's nice and flat and all of the glue is really dried and stuck together really well. I'll show you what this looks like when I turn it over. And then one more side. And this will actually become the cover of my um, accordion book. So we're getting there to our final steps. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna stick this 
under something heavy and let it dry while I work on the other cover. Finally, we're going to finish our accordion books. You'll need both of your covers and um, the folded paper that you made earlier. So it's up to you what option you wanna use for glue. I think I'm gonna use the glue stick. And basically, this is gonna be really easy. All I'm going to do is take the front of my book, and I, I just might wanna check to see how this opens up. I think either way will probably work just fine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put glue all over the front. I chose to use the glue stick because well, I think I've used enough liquid glue on that cover already. And then I'm just gonna get my cover. This is the back side that you're looking at. I'm gonna flip that over. And I think what I might do actually is turn the whole thing upside down. And I'm gonna try and center that right in the middle of my cover. Give that a good press. We probably will wanna flatten this out with a book um, again when we're done gluing everything. Okay, you can see there's my cover. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my other cover. So this will be the back page of my book. I'm gonna cover that really well with the glue stick. Like I said, I don't want any more of that goopy glue on there, but I want plenty of glue to hold that, so I'll put a lot of purple glue stick on there. And I'm gonna just grab that other cover, line that up so it's nice and even, and give it a rub. Okay, I do wanna put this under a book, but I do kinda just wanna check and make sure that there's nothing really gluey sticking together. If I see any big chunks of glue, I would want to wipe those off before I put this under a book. I don't see any big chunks of glue. I let those dry pretty good already. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my accordion book and stick it under something heavy so that it can dry nice and flat. Now you have an awesome book and you can put anything you want in your book. The cool thing about these is too is you can set them up and you can display them um, like that. So enjoy um, filling in your accordion book.